If I find a 1000 digit prime number, the video will end. The prime number 33 is Neff, I'll try to steal this fact that I can. Oh, no. no. Divided by 4447 is no good. I'm just finds more than two prime factors in that's it. That's not possible for a thousand digits. It can't be a thousand digits or something like that. But it's not. There is a 439. Is that a prime? 439 is a prime. But our only prime factor is 643. Before that, nine and ten digit numbers come up. 443 is next. So that means 87. And then we get a 900 uh, something digit number for the next prime number that pops up. But I still cannot fully factorize this because it's really big. So we can lose up to 25 digits, and in most cases, this is why we can lose at most 20 digits before the number is lost and it can't go further before it reaches its own time limit. <sighs> Stop pressing the shift key by itself. This cannot be over a thousand digits. I should only press enter, not the shift on the right, which I don't know if you can. We've got four digits factorized. So, I noticed that there were some red lines from earlier. That one was absolutely nothing but a single other prime factor, so then seven. It goes down to seven, but this next number is just a one, zero, three, and then we'll the list. Which I'm not going to mention in my video. 47 is a prime, and that gets, that gets us two prime factors, one being 10 digits, which is Really nice. Like, we got a 479. Now, 481 is not a prime because it's 13 times 87. But I can't really factorize them with anything else. It can only go up to 308 or so digits for my random science tools website that I visited a while back. So, this one is this 487. I can go until I get a prime, or at least one number that works. 491. Now, guess what? This number is a prime, but it doesn't find anything. In the beginning, it finds nothing, but there is a 7 digit prime factor for this one 411 factorial times 32 factorial cubed plus 491. But we're still not done. We have to find more. This is 17 I'm not really going to use this number. And it still finds more. And so this is 16187 times. Well, one three nine eight nine zero seven, and so the prime numbers is not fine. I need to control that space there to make things a bit easier. Five zero three. Okay, five zero three does this for a while, and then one three eight five one seven is the prime factor of five. Five zero nine. I'm learning from my past errors. Seven six one. That finds quickly, but it doesn't go much further. Six only. Five one one. No prime, 773. So, what could be the next number I could do? 117, right? Okay. This is also not prime. 1147. Now, here it doesn't find any prime factors. For a little bit, it will find nothing. But then it finds over the 13 digit or 14 digit. There's 14 digits, if you're fun there. Stop wasting clicks, I'm so serious. So four minutes now since I started. I don't want to say anything bad in my video. Now, sadly, my headphones are connected and the audio may sound a little crappy. 523, that did nothing. 541, I might do the same. It did the same, never mind. <laughs> 147 is next. Oh, we're at 54, that's terrible. This one is two prime factors. But our number is not prime. Obviously. Any number is a way, a number other than one or itself is not a time number. There we go. So this number is 997 digits. Why is that the case? 
Let's check how many digits that original number was. Four thousand four. <laughs> and dividing that by, I'm just not going to put that this year. We get a one thousand something digit number. Period one seven four nine six. No, what am I doing? Put this here. I need to check how many digits that was. It was a one thousand digit number. Thank you guys for watching. Mm -hmm.